What's up, YouTube, man? This was a game I played on Weekend League. I believe it was top 20 or, or one of my 20th games. So I had a good record. I believe I was about 18 and 2 or something crazy like that. Um, like I said, this I'm just replaying this game. I did not record it. This is straight from Twitch, man. My subs can watch my past broadcasts on Twitch. If you want to check out any of these games live, you can hit the link below. That's on my Twitch channel, man. If you want to find any of the offense or defense that you see in this video, there's not much defense to be seen in this video. But any of the offense, man, make sure you check below, man. So if you can get my ebook, you can get Skimbo's ebook. It's definitely a way to improve your game in Madden. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. I'm definitely going to commentate this entire game. Tell you guys what I'm thinking and how I tried to play defense. My def this was the most I've struggled on defense in Madden in probably my whole life. It was it was horrible. So close your eyes when I'm on the defensive side of the ball. We're going to talk about it. I mean, this is my offensive set. It's in New Orleans. I have a uh, Todd Gurley at tight end. I have Ricky Williams in the backfield. That's team of the year. Todd Gurley, Randy Moss. I feel like he should be on every team. Julio Jones and Tyree Kill, of course. You got to have that speed with Tyreek Hill, Randy Moss, Todd Gurley. That's a lot of speed. And here we go. We're trying to go up top. First play to Randy Moss. Catch a little swerve. He catches the ball over Amos. You see he's running a little bit of match coverage. Uh, my, my face cam kind of covers the previous play. But he's running a little bit of cover three. I thought it was matched. The safety manned up on Moss. And it just really, you got to take that chance. That's why I put him on a fade instead of a streak. It does a better job against man coverage. Next play, we're going up top to Moss again. And he catches in triple coverage. That's why I... Honestly, if there's one must, I, I feel like Vic is the must-have player on offense. But if you don't like Vic, you don't like left hands, people have excuses why they don't use Vic. But Randy Moss is the best player in this game. He is unreal, especially in the end zone like that. That one-hand catch animation is back. It was in Madden 08. It was dominant then. And that one-hand catch animation is all the way back right now, the way the game's being played with high balls. But there you go, seven points, and I just pretty much do the Randy Moss. But, I mean, the first drive is really a fill-out drive. And, and for me, scoring on two plays, it doesn't give them that many looks at what offensive plays I want to run. Ideally, you want to get your opponent into third downs and see what their go-to play is when they got to pick up five or six yards. He was a straight on right there and make a good play with Darius Slade and make sure he, do he doesn't get by that guy and get the edge. Um, here you go. I want to run dollar. I want to play against three wide receiver sets. But this kid is coming out in two, two wide receivers and two running backs some eye formation and, and on the first play you really don't know what formation they're going to come out in obviously you know the personnel but you don't know the formation so what happens here is he comes out this is i form twin he's already flipped he already has his tight end on my bad side because my nickel back is to the right runs a play action what i do to stop the run is man up every safety and moss kills me right there i go for a swap with ed reed but i get rack agged he had a step on ed reed and he no huddles, man. You rarely run into people now that are no huddling. It's a tactic that was used in Madden for years. No huddle is really effective. So at my first glance at this or glance at this formation, I want to stop toss. So I man up two wide receivers. He runs this play action play again because I manned up everybody has all day. Finds Thielen in the back in the back of the end zone. Boom. Two plays, just like me. Two plays. I want to say his two plays were almost easier than my two plays right down the field. So now I know he wants to run this formation, and this formation is famous because it has a nice toss in it, man. It's an eye tight, has a really good toss with a lot of blockers out wide. So when somebody wants to do that, I want to run a cover two because what happens what happens when a cover two is that the corners will play aggressive in the flat. So they'll come down and help the toss. They need to get blocked. Now, one thing I don't want to do, I want to base a line, but I don't want to base a line so they're all the way out there. They're almost out of the play. But I don't want to put them right over the wide receivers because then they'll get blocked. Essentially, the best way to defend toss is have your corner in between base and line and in between the middle or in between straight up in the box. You kind of want them almost where slot corners are. That's, that's the best way to stop toss or stretch or any outside run. So ideally, that's what I want to do against toss. Also, like I said, I love manning up my safeties because they play really well against the run when you man them up. But against this play action play that he's quick snapping, it's making it very hard for me to man up my safeties on Randy Moss. And he, I believe he has Adam Thielen as his other wide receiver. But we'll, we'll see how it goes as it keeps on going. Once again, trying for the bomb. He gives it to me again. Cover three. That's why I put him on a fade. The middle safety will never play that if you press with the third. I mean, you're going to get that play to Randy Moss. That's why I love having my tall receiver with the speed in the slot. If it's regs, I want Julio Jones there. I want somebody that can really make the defense play. Maybe even Tyreek Hill right there if you're playing with the Chiefs. Once again, he's running a lot of cover three. I don't know if they're matching on their own or he's manning people up. As you see here, he mans up Moss again. He mans up everybody. 
But the one weakness of my Mutt team compared to other teams is my offensive line is not good. I pretty much have a salary cap offensive line, 84, 77 overall. Offensive lineman, I guess, shut it there. But I notice, as I notice when I'm playing offense, he's manning up a lot of people. And, you know, and, and for me, if you start manning up a lot of people, I want to catch a big play. I have the speed, even though Mutt is a little bit different where there's not as much speed. And here we go. I try to hit Gurley away from the safety. That's 97 speed. Gurley and some Anthony Barr stayed with him. So Mutt is a little different in that there's a lot of speed both on offense and defense. People are kind of similar speed, although I think you can get Tyree Hill to 99 speed. But then you got Dion, who's pretty much just as fast if you have the Madden coach and things like that. Here I go, another fade. I want to hit Gurley, but I put Moss on a slant because man coverage. Look, he's manned up on a safety. The safety, he runs right by the safety. Big catch right there by Randy Moss. So that gives me the opportunity to go for it. Where normally it's tough to go, but this is a tough situation. I can't, I'm really not mad either way. If you kick or you go for it, it's early in the game where you can recover, but recover if you don't get it. But at the same time, you want to be able to get points on the board early in the game. But I go for this. Right now, I'm looking flat. I'm looking curl, and he leaves a flat wide open. Got to take your first read every time. That's the 97 speed, Todd Gurley. Try to get in the end zone, make a play. I'm 5 or 6, doing pretty good right now. Down here, I'm looking for curls. That's what I'm looking for. Or I'm looking for Moss in the middle of the field. If you don't if you don't cover Moss yourself in the middle of the field, I will highball this. But most people do run with Moss. So I throw a little drag underneath to Julio. Try to make a play. But this Shazier, I promise, has 98 speed in Mutt right now. Um, this is, I mean, you guys watched my videos obviously before. This is where Madden games are won and lost inside the five. And I feel like I play very well down here. I'm one of the few people that does these curls. Uh, you use flat routes to take the flat zones away. And most of the time these curls are open. But what I noticed, this guy's just manning up every person. And we see Anthony Barr there is manned up on Julio, which is really good for the curl because he's tall. He's going to stand there. So what I'm thinking is if I keep him on the out route, Julio Jones will beat that man coverage. Now, a lot of times for me, I think if a man player just showed me his goal line defense, he's not necessarily going to run the same thing the next play. But this play, I go ahead and I keep Julio Jones on that out route because I know if he mans him up, he's going to beat him on the out route. I think that's what I do. But he mans up again. He leaves Randy Moss wide open. I don't know what he did there. Just hit Randy Moss on the hitch, man. It's pretty much when I get down the goal line, put a hitch to Moss, curl to Julio. One of them's getting a high ball right there. I didn't even need a high ball. But you'll see that him manning up that linebacker and then playing a hard flat. I'm going to try to play that throughout the game once I get inside the five. Because like I said, man, if you can execute inside the five and score touchdowns, it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. Now that drive I showed, I had to open up the playbook a little bit more. He's playing good defense. His players are running with my with my wide receivers. They're really fast. He's getting a little glitchy pressure with this four or three or four man rush out of three, four. And it's pretty good. Harry tries to stop, let his blockers go, but when you have a 97-speed fullback in Todd Gurley, he goes and makes plays on special teams. So now I'm thinking, do I want to still run that nickel normal? Do I want to run 3-3-5? I really don't know exactly how I want to attack this. To know, I don't know if he's going to continue to no huddle. It's really early in the game. I really don't have any linebackers. I have Derwin James, Sean Taylor, at what I'm going to use a linebacker. Here, we go. Here I don't baseline. I'm going to blitz everybody because I don't want that play action to beat me again. So I blitz everybody. He runs toss to the side where my nickel back isn't. That's one of the problems that I run into this game with nickel normal, nickel 335. You kind of have an unsymmetrical formation. Whereas I always want my nickel, my extra defender on the side of the tight end. Here you go. He flips it, goes here. He no huddles, but he snaps the ball, runs toss again. So this is what I don't want to get beat by is toss. Like I, I really have against these mutt guys that play weekend, I never want to get beat by the run. Here he goes again. No huddle. I'm blitzing everybody again. He's going to run his play action play now. Guarding the tight end and the lead is crossing around wide open because I blitzed everybody. We got to get home. I probably sent, well, there was three people in my secondary, so I sent eight right there. That's what we can do against compressed formations. If you want to want to run a play action or something like that, I'm going to put some pressure on you. But what's killing me right now is that that defense is not defending the toss very well. And I dive with Mac, and I don't know who 26 is. It looks like uh, Adrian Peterson. I don't even know who his running back is. Yeah, Adrian Peterson. I don't even know if there's a good Adrian Peterson, but it's killing me because that 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 drive, I wanted to play the pass, the play action. I wanted to send everybody, have them real compressed, and what killed me against that was the toss. So now I'm thinking, man, I really want to start the toss, stop the toss because I'm pissed I gave up a touchdown run against toss because I know I can slow that down if I run the cover two, man up my safeties like I told you. But these two plays are kind of contradicting my defense, man. 
because obviously I want to uh, I want to stop the run, but my run defense is it, it's kind of bad against this play action play that he's running. So I gotta gotta come up with a with an idea. And also, like I told you, what's killing me is not having a symmetrical defensive formation. So what I'm going to do up here, I'm probably going to try three four because it is symmetrical. What I mean by that, there's no nickelback. So no matter where he flips his formation to put his tight end an extra blocker. I'm always going to have the same defense. And that's something that's killed me, especially against the toss here early in the game. But like I said, he's had the easiest drives. Really frustrating because I'm not getting into what he wants to do on short yardage, what he wants to do on third and eight. You know, I'm not getting into any of that. So that's something. Else. So now when I see, obviously he's running his cover three, he's manning up a lot of people. What I want to do, and I told you in the last drive, when I see all this manned up people, all this match coverage, I want to try to glitch it. I want to put three fades and see which one burns them because I have so much speed on the field. And you two, sh you two, you should have tons of speed too. With whatever you got going on with your mutt team, you should definitely have some speed. But I have Tyreek Hill, Moss, Julio, and that Todd Gurley. I want to put that Todd Gurley at wide receiver, 97 speed. He definitely can take the top off if you play this match coverage, man, because. If, if you put the right, even if you don't necessarily know the right route combinations, man, if you just start putting fades and slants all over here, it, it'll mess it up and, and it'll give you one. That's, that's how I feel. And I always want to look for one early in the drive, especially here first down. You see, I got two fades, a hitch. I just, please, just give me a touchdown. And I, honestly, he X had it. I threw it up thinking Vic would get crazy. That was a little bit, I was drinking too much with Weekend League. Let me see what Vic got for me. But if I had time in the pocket there, I felt like I could have hit that that fade right there in the cover three beater. But, like I said, it's first down. You got to try it. Vic did not make the wild throw that he normally makes. That should have been a pick. But, I mean, as much as people want to complain, man, you got to click on there and make a play. So, second down, I'm still going to try because I feel like I can come back in third down and get the touchdown or get the first down pretty easy. Once I get in here, I go two fades. It's going to have Gurley as a little check down. He rushes five at me. Nowhere to go. I swear I had X again for a touchdown. I'm looking downfield, and this is something I tell you guys a lot. People get tunnel vision. People really uh, want to look for the big play. It's hard to continue to take your drag or the corner route like I had there. When you put two phase, three phase, you got to know when your big play is not open, get out of the pocket, throw the ball away. And right there, I took a sack. That's killer to a drive, man. Anytime you get to a third and 19, it's really hard. But I'm going to go ahead. This time, I'm going to keep it, keep everything short. Try to get half of this. I go ahead and hit Tyreek Hill. This guy does a good job of coming up and making a tackle. One thing about all pro, I mean, I swear nobody can spin like they can all man. They can't. But I'm going to no huddle. Keep on his toes. I think I go to the same look. Just two, baby. But he rushes six at me right here. Gets really good pressure. I try to fit this in and get super bagged. So he's really played good defense, man. Looking for the bomb really cost me on that drive because of the sack. Because of the two, two plays where I really didn't have anything positive offensively man that gets tough especially when you're playing on mutt where all these d linemen have have 90 speed and you know you can really send a lot of good pressure and that time he did he's getting good pressure on me so now i go to three four honestly he caught me and i came out in the wrong thing so i just audible to cover two like i said you see where my corners are that's the best way to stop oh uh, this and then that's when he shows me he has the underneath playmaker to the tight end up now i'm like okay this is tough <laughs> Because I haven't, he hasn't been able to show me that. Yeah, he got me in this cover too. I don't want to waste the timeout. He runs a toss again. As you see, my corner was too far inside and got blocked. But we slowed it down pretty much because Brian Dawkins came down there and made a play. Or that was Ed Reed, whatever it may be. Now I'm trying to set up my, uh, my what you call it, my players, my personnel. But the biggest thing is I really don't have three, four personnel. I have dollar personnel. So I, and the biggest thing I don't have enough beef up front. You know, I don't have enough big guys. I have Miles Garrett playing D tackle, who's really good, team of the year when he's really good. And this is the first time he's come out in this formation. If I see this formation for the first time at this position on the field, I'm automatically playing run. As you see, I bring Dawkins down in the box, going to try to make a play with him. I'm playing run a thousand percent right here. And Lawrence Taylor makes a play right now. We talk about safeties, the linebacker. I use Lawrence Taylor right here. He made that play. If I had Derwin James, someone like that might not make the play. So I know this play is coming. This play is famous in this formation. He tries to fit one in there. Patrick Peterson breaks it up. I would have loved him to pick that ball off there, man. And I promise on all men, I think he takes that. But fourth and five, you're playing me. You're playing somebody that, I mean, I don't, this kid is crazy right now. To get a turnover, 
early in the game, not take your advantage from points, and to get ball to half is crazy right here. I think anybody in the world would have kicked three. He runs the same exact play. Playmakers, that's uh, Jamal Adams taking his face off. So he turns the ball over on downs. Really questionable decision, man. I would have never did that. I probably would have, unless I really disrespected my opponent, I would have kicked there 100 times out of 100 times. So I'm right back where I started. I had a terrible drive last time. Trying for deep plays. So I'm going to go ahead and try to keep it a little more basic here. Rush is five. First thing I do after looking downfield, the first thing I do is come back and do a drag. Boom. Get my 11 yards. First down, take it to the two-minute warning. Now now you're thinking two-minute warning. He gets the ball to half. I have to make this the last drive. Unless I score on a bomb or something, it should be the last drive because he only has one timeout. He's wasted them. That's one thing I tell you guys, man. I hate wasting timeouts. And obviously people say they don't matter. They don't matter in the first half. And, and, and you look at the situation like this, I feel like they always matter. Because if I play this right, even if I play it wrong, it's going to be hard for him to get the ball back because of the uh, fact he has no timeouts. Here I go running my favorite play, man. If you guys watch me play, I run this play, I would say, probably 60%, 70% of the game and just hot route it differently. Have this, he manned up and hard, manned up two people on, on Gurley, and they were the ones that stopped that comeback route. The comeback route is one of the best routes against man covers. I had videos on that earlier. If you want to scroll down, check out the videos about the comeback route and how effective it is against man coverage. And that's what I'm trying to go for because he is manning up everybody. I know this route on the right, on the left to Tyreek Hill is going to get open, but he covers it there. Just take Moss, take the in route. He has Adrian Amos on Moss. You just got to take what's there, man. You got to assume that he's going to cover the deep route. But I got to keep working this play a little bit more. I know that Tyreek Hill is going to be open. He has to guard Tyreek Hill. Put Moss on that fade if he gets cute again. Just a little drag underneath. He sent a lot of people right here. Like I said, Tyreek Hill and whew, Deion's playing with him, man. Deion kind of bagged it right there. I'm not happy with that. He's got Deion Sanders on Tyreek Hill's side, man. That's I mean, that's speed for speed for the most part. So I want to come back here, fourth and four. I'm going to go for this, man, because I should be able to get the ball back regardless, and I have to score on this drive. Trying to freestyle a little bit here. At the end of the day, I put two fades, a drag, and a post route. Got to just throw it up top to Gurley, and that's why you have that much speed because he didn't have a – he had a baby step, but with rack eggs in this game, that's all you need. Now, normally, if you see him that close, you guys would tend to want to hold wide and jump and go get the ball. If you have a little bit of a step, hold X, you'll get that animation with the rack egg. And that's one thing I wanted to I wanted to utilize a lot. Here I go throwing underneath to Ricky, doesn't catch it. I wanted to utilize that 97 speed because he's gonna have if he's in 3-4, he's gonna have a linebacker on that 97 speed. And Anthony Barr, I don't know how fast his Anthony Barr is, but that was closer than I wanted to, really. So that play, if he would have clicked on swat and clicked on pick, would have went for a little bit less. Here I go throwing underneath to uh, Todd Gurley. See him making plays there. And this is what I mean about if he had timeouts, he could really be using his timeouts, especially right now. I would probably use a timeout. I don't know. But if he had his timeouts, he could use his timeouts to get the ball back. Now, I know this play, I'm going to kick my field goal if I don't get this first down. I'm not going to go for it. And so pretty much what's in my mind is that I'm going to take some time off the clock because I have three timeouts. Time is not a big deal for me. It's a big deal for him because he's not going to get the ball back. This play is pretty much an instant snap and hike hike and, and haul get down to the two and here he goes he has no timeouts i have all the time in the world right here i'm going to switch it on aggressive i take a little bit too long to get to this play i want to put Gurley in the backfield get to stretch i know i have my quick pass audible and i have my inside inside run audible so we're getting down here to 10 seconds i wish i was around not 20 seconds rather than 10 because this is cutting it close and he annihilates that run i mean what i think i learned man these kids got way better run defense than me but like I said, I wish I was around 20 seconds. I probably could have used a timeout there. I wanted to get to a point where I could have ran three times and used all my timeouts if I didn't get into it. But that killed me. So I'm down to pretty much one play unless it's a fast a fast pass. Maybe I can get another one in. My, that Losing that many yards on that run killed me because I don't think I can run again. Here he goes. Once again, he mans up everybody. And I'm boxed. I throw the ball away so the time doesn't run out. When you're down there, you always have the, the clock in your head. So... I felt like I played that wrong because I took too much time. When I ran that with Vic, it was 30 seconds on the clock. I took about 15 seconds in the huddle, and it killed me. Losing four yards on that stretch killed me, too, because 
it kind of took the run out of my hands. Although I could have ran a draw, I could have gotten better, but didn't play inside the five and didn't play the time as well as I could have right there. Forced me to kick three, but I'm up three at halftime. I, this kid has run seven total plays and he has 14 points, man. So I got to do a different thing on defense. I got to play a little bit better. It's really driving me crazy that I'm losing to toss and this one pass play. So what I'm thinking right now is I have to cover that crossing route. It's a pretty good one. I know if there's no other fade or anything that my cover two will kind of guard that uh, that post the Moss pretty well. I have Dawkins and Ed Reed back there. But I have to guard Thielen. I think I see now I'm in cover three. Baseline and what's going to kill me in cover three is the toss. He likes it weak side. Good tackle. I, I do a good job this game clicking on and making some tackles and not getting beat that bad. Once again, you see him going to no huddle. He flips it. What I want to do is man up that tight end. I'm not getting beat by that little playmaker up tight end thing again. Runs toss again to the weak side. That's really killing me. Once again, another good tackle by Ed Reed. I'm getting frustrated. No huddle, no huddle, no huddle. <sighs> he flips it here. Let's say if he goes toss to the weak side again. I'm using a weak side linebacker. And he just goes dive right up the middle and gets it. I fall. Ed Reed comes in there. <sighs> gets spun right there. But Ed Reed has the speed to go catch him. Now we got a tie game already because he's in field goal range. No huddles again. I have not played anybody in, in three years that have no huddled like this. And it's it, honestly, it's really bothering me defensively. And he's just snapping the ball. So here's his play action play. Boom, right at the middle. I here I want to pick. And he catches that with Thielen. Unbelievable. I wanted to pick right there, man. That's why I started playing cover three so I didn't have to guard that crossing route. This close to getting a pick with Patrick Peterson, man. If you guys watch me play, I click on really quick. I did right there. Almost got a pick, but Thielen got to have 99 catching traffic. He caught the ball. Now he's on the one-yard line, ready to pound the ball in. Got to go to goal line here, man. He's coming out in goal line. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really don't have the best goal line defense. I really don't. I I, I think you the best thing I'm good at stopping at is fullback dive. But, but sneak and toss, I don't think I'm good at stopping them. And there you see right there, toss to the weak side killed me. This guy went right down the field again with the most basic scheme in the world. But it definitely it's definitely giving me trouble. I I got to stop the toss. Now, now I'm pissed that I got to stop the toss. I got to stop the toss and the running back uh, or the tight end playmaker. Those are the two things that are way too easy to throw and way too easy to run. I have to stop the, the, the easiest thing or the easiest things for him to do. But I tell you guys all the time, man, the best defense is a good offense. I got to keep scoring. I cannot let him get the ball of four points because then we're going to see a lot of Adrian Peterson. But he's snapping the ball really fast, and it's killing me. So I got to go ahead and continue to score. I promise I'm going to – and then here I try to sneak in a deep post if he mans up everybody. Will Wild to the running back if he mans up everybody. He sends the crib. I just hit the wheel route out of the backfield. Gets six. I mean, that's, that's what you got to do. I, like I said, he's manning up everybody. I want to try to catch when I do will now I'd switch Tyreek Hill to the other side. I see he has Dion on this left. Switch Tyreek to the other side. I'm trying to sneak a deep post. See if he gets too cute. Man, it looks like he just manned up his outside corner. Wanna to try to hit a post for a touchdown. I want a big play, man. When you man up this many people. Ah, right, there we go. Able to have time. Hit this in route there. I, I did not have the post, but I was able to come back and have enough time to go ahead and hit that deep in route back across the middle. So he's leaving Kraus in the deep third in the middle of the field. I, I feel like everybody else is manned up. And pretty soon I'm going to try to hit my running back. I know that Moss kills on this route. Here we go again with the flat route. He has two people on on Gurley. I hit the comeback route. And the two people guarding Gurley hit stick uh, Tyreek Hill. I could have had better timing on that. But it's tough to fit that ball in there. Obviously he's open. But because those other guys are so close, he's going to go ahead and make that hit stick more often than not. So you see later in the game, I'm going to use the fact that he doesn't have any zone over there to my advantage. Here we go again. I'm going to block my tight end. I'm going to look for this wheel route to the running back. He's manning up everybody. He's manned up. Up, oh, going up top the Moss. Almost got the rack egg. I don't even know why he didn't catch. I feel like he should have caught that. So when some, like I said, when somebody's manning up this many people, making this many cute adjustments, you got to utilize all five of your receivers. You have to keep them guessing on who you want to throw the ball to, especially if the... If they're man up, people can get really tricky. Here you go. I, I drag Gurley instead of um flatten him. So now I don't have no zone over here, no man up, and the comeback route is wide open. 
Can't take a hit like that. I don't care who is that corner. Can't take a hit like that. When you take a hit like that, bad things happen more often than not. But, like I said, you got to mix up your route combos and, and have an idea of what he's doing on defense. Here I go. What happened was I believe I had all my bums in. I don't have backups because normally I play salary cap, so I don't have 10 wide receivers. My backups are Shannon Sharp and Marcus Allen power up. Like, So right there, I just wanted to run the ball it's just because I want to get my wide receivers back in. I should have spent a little more time in the huddle right there too, but uh, I did not. <clears throat> spend too much time in the huddle to help my players get rejuvenated. I don't want to run here because it's going to leave me one play to get this yardage. As you can see, Ricky fought a little bit, but those were two wasted plays because of fatigue. They weren't really a waste because I did get the short yardage. One thing about short yardage, third and two, fourth and two, what I, I I understand one thing about me I feel comfortable getting a first down when my when a flat route can get the first down when I can put Gurley on a flat put the running back on a table route if that can get the first down I feel really good about my situation. That's that 97 speed. He has Anthony Barr. He can't defend that. Just a drag, manned it up. But like I said, 97 speed. Todd Gurley, a tight end, able to get some big plays here. Here I go again inside the 10. You execute down here, you're going to win Madden games. Man's up, everybody. Hit Gurley in the flat. You better run over Dion. Boom. Touchdown. I mean, that's how I feel right now. His defense, it's not matched because I feel like he's literally manning up everybody. But uh, what it is is he has a deep third and Kraus in the middle of the field, and pretty much everybody else is manned up. There's not really that many helper zones. And one of my, obviously, Tyreek Hill on Deion Sanders isn't a crazy mismatch that I have. But one of the mismatches I have is Todd Gurley a tight end, man. It's really going to give him trouble trying to put a linebacker on him because he can't put a strong safety on him because he needs Amos for Randy Moss, although I don't think Amos is really can guard Randy Moss. I feel like that's another mismatch I have. So here we go again. <clears throat> trying to play some defense. I'm going to come out and – now I'm going to come out and cover three, I think, because I feel like cover three can stop the pass. I'm really playing the pass all the way here. This is pass all the way. Runs it again. I feel like I bag him this play, but I'm a little bit too slow. I have Leonard Floyd at linebacker. I wish I – like, this is what I mean. My linebackers aren't that great. I have Josh Jones, the out-of-position one, but I feel like I had him in the – I should have been using him right there. It's Floyd just 85 speed, I think. A little too slow. Here we go with cover two. And he runs the play action play again. <laughs> what killed me here was that I sent this – I pretty much bit on the play action. That's what I did. I bit on the play action, sent the guy guarding the tight end, and I couldn't, and I had to guard both of them. So that play, I'm not getting any pressure on that play, and it's killing me because everybody's open with the way I'm playing defense. I mean, you can't get much worse at playing defense than I did this game. And, yeah, that's what happened. I sent the spy, and it, I didn't have a spy, so I sent the guy man up on the tight end. So, once again, everybody was open. So... It's it's not that play. It's the combination of toss and that play that's really giving me trouble. And the no huddle quick snap that he's running is just a pain in the ass. And I got I, I got to figure it out because I feel like, like I said, he's only had 10 plays that he's run. Right here, it starts lagging. I'm like, bro, kick him out so I get this win. I'm tired of this kid. I don't want to play him anymore. But, of course, it's back to normal. So, like I said, everybody's pretty much manned up. I got to keep working this comeback route. I know this post over the middle of Moss. We'll get open because nobody can really guard it. And what killed me here, oh, just hit the comeback. There you go. Like I said, there's no zone over there. That's going to be, I don't care if it's Xavier Rose, Deion Sanders, whoever it may be, man. He's really going to kill it. And another thing that hurt me this game is I have elite route, elite route running on Gurley. So now I try to flip it and just catch him off guard with a little fade to Moss, man. See if he manned up Deion Sanders on Jones and see if, if I can get a big play. And he really didn't, but I hit this out route to Julio anyway. Looking for a big play there. Just tricking him, flipping the play. But like I said, I have elite route running on Gurley. So when he goes to tight end, he has a corner route and a trail route, which are pretty, they're not that great. But if I didn't have that, I could put Gurley on a fade like I'm putting Moss on a fade. And that would really kill man coverage. The fact I can't put Gurley on a fade is hurting me just a little bit. Boom, hit the, hit the little crossing right there. The Julio Jones makes somebody miss. Try to hurdle Amos, but I don't. Got to get in here. Once I go inside the 10, 
is where we execute, man. This is where we got to go ahead and utilize my players, utilize my curls. But remember, I talked about how he was manning up the, the linebacker on my outside guy. I got to sneak. Oh, here we go. Gurley didn't even want to go out, but I'll hit him underneath, and I'll pick up eight yards or so. I don't know why he didn't want to go to the flat. Flat would have been wide open. But we'll see. Here I go trying to refresh my players. I don't want to get to a third and goal when Moss not be on the field. But here I go. I switch Julio to the short side so I can go with that curl, hitch, whatever it may be. So, like I said, he he had been leaving the tight, the, the linebacker one on one with Julio, and that's stopping the curl. But I'm gonna keep him on the out route one time. But he doesn't guard the flat. I squeeze it in there. Boom. I don't know who 55 was. This close to making a play on the ball, but I'm able to hit the flat to Gurley, take the lead. We go up three men. Another clutch drive inside the 10 worked out well. I only had one bad possession inside the 10. I want to get this kid inside the 10, but there's the two combinations, two plays is killing me, man. I, I haven't defended these two plays back to back in a long. I'd rather play bunch. I'd rather play trips tight end. Whatever. These two plays are, are aggravating me. Uh, and because so many people are in three time, not really that good at defending the sets where I can't use dollar, man. I want to be able to use. Here we go. Of course, chat. Of course. Come on, Carlson. Fight for me. Come on, Floyd. Fight. Come on. Oh, my God. Soon as I'm ready to play defense, I give up the kick return. That's what Madden is. That's why you guys watch Weekend League. That's why it's so much fun, man. You guys really got to check out these games live. Twitch.tv slash dub dot, man. Give up the touchdown so I don't get a chance to play defense. Imagine when I'm playing a Madden game, man, and I'm in between, like, the extra point and the kickoff, all that. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do on defense. And so and you finally get a chance to do that and you give up a kick return. That's killer. But the way he's been playing offense, honestly, is probably would have been the same thing. It's probably might be the best thing that happened to me right there is uh, giving up a kick return because now I had a ball. I have an opportunity to go down the field and make some plays, man. Like I said, I feel like there's big plays to be had right now the way he's playing defense. And it only killed me one drive when I was really looking for a big play. Here we go try to pop a little run. I ran right there just to take it to two-minute warning. That was pretty much my whole point of that play. It was 2.20 left on the clock. I ran the ball. It was an automatic run for me because we're going to take this to the two-minute warning. I want to make this the last drive. I don't want to see that toss. I don't want to see that play-action play. I don't want to see kicking the ball off to Deion Sanders. So, and here we go. I'm, sne I'm thinking about Bunch here. Sneaking a little fade here, trying to catch a big play to Tyreek Hill. I haven't ran Bunch. Oh, I don't even ever run Bunch this year. But I know I can just quick snap, put Ma put Hill on a fade, and just pop this cover three one time. Especially if it's pressed. Krause is the deep safety on the left side of the field. Here we go. He's trying to use it with Shazier. That's 98 speed Tyreek Hill. Rack egg. Boom. Inside the 20. Going to run the time here. I... I'm still an aggressive. Sometimes I forget to take that off when I'm inside the goal line. But, boom, that's the only reason I came out in bunch right there. Just put a corner out in a fade and bunch. If they press, you're going to beat cover three. Boom. Now I want to use some of this time. Because if I score, I, I don't want to give him any time to run toss. run. Play. I don't want him to run the ball if I score. Mm, I throw the curl, try to high ball. To, that should have been a pick. I tried, and, and Anthony Barr is just bagging Julio Jones right now. Should have kept him on the out route. I kept telling you guys how I thought about keeping on the out route. That could have ended the game right now, or at least turned the ball over to the point where I don't get the ball back, or I have to play defense to get the ball back. But <clears throat> here we go. Inside the 10, inside the 15, once again, I'm passing. He sends the crib at me, hit Gurley in the flat, break a tackle, score a touchdown. Boom. He sent six right there. I, I Not bad, but I might have played differently defensively, especially after I almost threw a pick. Boom. So I kick... Once again, we're here, man. We're up three points. Kicking off. Now, some people say kick it short. I don't want to kick it short, man. I, I feel like on my, with how fast my players are, I can cover a kick, man. I got to do a good job with my user. Can't get blocked. And, and what I realize a lot is when I kick it off to the right here. That's what I do, kick off right. The only time they beat me is that they kick, bounce it all the way back to the other side. That's the only time they beat me. So I'm going to click on and try. One thing I do is if... I want this outside guy on the left to come free, and he does. So he's not going to go left. I got to – he almost busted again. I got Allen right there. Slay with the strip. Boom. So we cover a kick. 30 seconds left. I'm up three. I, I can't give up a touchdown. I've, and I'm thinking about let me go back to nickel normal. This isn't the best idea. I mean, in hindsight, I I was lost, honestly, on what's the perfect thing to do, man. And right here I'm like, all right, I'm going to auto flip. 
I'm going to go ahead because I hope when he no huddles and he flips it that my defense flips. That's pretty much what I want. I always want this corner, this extra defender on the wide side like that. And here he goes with his play action play. Boom, I bag it right here. Everybody's manned up. Nowhere to throw the ball. He has all day. Playmakers, this guy up. I'm on it. Jamal Adams, good game. Get mossed by Thielen. Boom. So he's in field goal range. No huddles again. It says my defensive front auto flipped. My corner is on the left. But look at that. His tight end is on the right. So I try to flip it real quick. Get the extra defender over there on the right side. Play the numbers game. Here he goes. Runs toss to the short side. Boom. Click on Dawkins. Good tackle. Keep him in balance. The clock is running. I feel good. No huddles again. I want my corner on the, even though he killed me on the short side. So now here we go. I use a timeout. I didn't like where everybody was. Wanted to come out of the huddle fresh, but I let the clock run as much as possible before I called my timeout. I didn't panic and call my timeout right away. Let another four or five seconds run off the clock. That because the clock is my friend here. Uh, I want to try to hold him up. I don't want him to get in the end zone. He's probably going to try to pop a couple more runs. Tall short side is killing me. Brian Dawkins make the play. I want him to go out of bounds now. He got out of bounds. Now the clock is, is my enemy. Dude. I got to hold the door here. I, I don't think nickel normal is the move now that I'm looking back on this. I man up my safety. He's got to stop the run. He's going to probably run toss short side again. And it's, this is killing me. Probably because my line is pinched. I really don't know what. It's just it's just a numbers to the short side against that nickel normal. Just killed me. Killed me the whole game. And uh, boom, right there. I... He, I mean, toss killed me, got into the end zone. When he sees that numbers advantage on the, on the weak side, he's tossing every time. So, timeout. 30 seconds, two timeouts. I don't need a field goal. I need a touchdown. This is this is tough. Really is because of the touchdown. And right here is something that I do that's underrated. I call fair catch. Obviously, I could have ran for 10 yards, but I want the time more than I want the yardage. Uh, and, and some people argue with that because I could I could have probably got to the 35, especially with Gurley, 97 speed. But I feel like the four seconds or whatever is more valuable here. He's running this man coverage. He's definitely uh, itching to give up a big play. And that's how I feel. I want to catch a big play. But every play I put out here, it has to be positive, man. I can't waste five, six seconds and not get any yards. Throw the out route here right there. Boom. First down. Easily just picked up what, 16 yards right there on a smart route out route to Gurley. I wanted to hit the bomb, but he didn't have any flat zone out there. You need to have a quick read, get out of bounds. I still have two timeouts. Now I'm trying to hit a post to Tyreek Hill, man. I, I really think I'm going to have this if I get the time. What I do here is just put a slant. Just give me some timeline. My 77 overalls just fight. I feel like this is open, and I have it right there. Had to throw it early, and Tyreek Hill can't hold on. Don't expect him to hold on catches like that, but that wasted, what, six seconds and didn't get any yards on it. That's tough. Got to get. And now I'm just thinking I have to get in range to give Randy Moss a chance. If you get in the range where Randy Moss has a chance or Julio Jones, whoever it may be, whoever has a chance, that's a good thing. Here I go again. He boxes it. I playmaker Moss back, and he runs by the guy. Big catch by Moss. Animation. I use a timeout. Boom. I'm on the 40-yard line. Almost really close for good good uh, spec catch animation time, man. That's what I want. I want to get a good spec catch animation. If I can get to the 35, I have a timeout, can throw the ball. Anywhere in the field, he comes out in three deep. I'm absolutely loving this. Let me pause this real quick. I'm going to pause it and give you guys a little bit of advice here, man. When someone comes out, you can't see it because of Twitch. But when they come out in three deep, right? Uh, now, this isn't every situation, depending on the time right now. I have 12 seconds. I have plenty of time to do whatever I want because I have a timeout. But normally, it'll come out and it'll be three man deep. Three man deep. All these guys are guarding wide receivers. They have three deep. The biggest thing for me is who do I use or when it's so 99.9% .9 of people when they run three deep are going to use the linebacker. Who's the linebacker's responsibility in man coverage is your running back. Now, obviously, this kid's not going to run and guard my running back like he's just the biggest threat in the world because there's only 12 seconds left and, and he got it. He got to worry about Randy Moss and whoever's going down the field. So one thing I love to do when people show me three deep and I have a chance to get a couple more yards put my running back on a wheel route, a wheel route. Because one, it can it's going to get down the field, so it's going to be a big play. Or two, I can hit it really early, I can get 10 yards and get out of bounds, give myself a shot at a 30. So that's the first thing I look at right now when he comes out in three deep. I say, you know what, I can go ahead and pop this little, because it's three deep, I'm assuming he got to guard the running back. And that's what you see here. It's actually zone, but they all run out, hit Marcus Allen, get out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Now I have one shot. I have Randy Moss. I spent a lot of money on Randy Moss. 
All I want to do is give him a chance. I have Julio Jones over here. I have Tyreek Hill. I'm in. I'm running this play. Uh, I mean, I listen. I, this is freestyle. Uh, I gotta show you the play. Oh my goodness. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? I don't even know if I can go back. Oh, this is the last play. Okay, I'll show you guys the play I cook up. Now, I'm not going to tell you this is the best play ever, but I'm pretty much just put everybody in the end zone. Here, I'll see the wheel rod again. I didn't need to get out of bounds. I could have just fell and called timeout. But here we go. I run um, the PA shot scene play. Pretty much put everybody on, on a, a, whatchamacallit, a vertical route. I know I have Julio can go make a play for me. I know I have Hill. Who can go? Hill, now Hill's not going to make a play, but what Hill's going to do is run off all the deep blue zones and whoever's on him. Maybe uh, he's not an option for me. I'm pretty. This play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to streak Gurley. So Gurley takes these deep blues. I want somehow Moss to get a one on one on this route somehow. I don't know if it's going to be he's going to be manned up on this guy. I'm assuming Moss is going to run by if he's manned up. And it's just going to be up to this safety, especially once I put Gurley on a streak. If this safety's in a third, then he, he might guard Moss. But the last play, he came out and prevent defense. And that's honestly what he's going to do again. And you're going to see Gurley's going to take this safety to the back of the end zone. And I'm going to have a one-on-one -on -one with his outside corner with Randy Moss. And that's what I want. I'm either throwing the ball to Moss or Julio Jones. I do put my running back on a wheel route right here because, like I said, the same thing, man. If it's a one-on-one -on -one with my running back, sometimes that's the best option right? as opposed to throwing the ball to 10 people in coverage. Here we go, drop back, hold the line a little bit. You see the streak take away. Got to go to Moss. Throw it high into the outside. One-hand catch. Over Xavier Rhodes for the game. GG's in the chat, man. And that's drawing up a play. It's bad. It's really bad defense on his part, man. You got to put six people on Moss. He had underneath zones. And as I honestly, as much as people want to say it was lucky, I'll show you the play afterwards. If when you get a one on one with Moss, and that I, for me, I feel like he was even behind him. I feel like it didn't really even need contact on that play. It was such a good play for the defense that he ran. And here we go. Another thing people got to realize here in this situation, man, because I scored a touchdown, I'm going to go up two now. And now I'm, I'm, I am I think I uh, what happened was I got so hyped that I knocked out my battery controller. So I'm trying to plug my batteries back in. But the one thing about it is that you can't go for two here. You can't even kick the extra point because the only thing that can beat you, there's no time on the clock. The only thing that can beat you is the... Uh, is a blocked back to the crib or fumble back to the crib or something along those that lines. So honestly, the best call you can make right here is a um is the uh, quarterback kneel. Obviously, that's the best play you can call right now is quarterback kneel. So you don't so you don't what you call it. So you don't waste time or you don't give yourself a chance to fumble back the other way. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I come out and field goal because it's natural. But I'm gonna audible to the fake and I'm gonna take the with the quarterback and I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna get tackled. You know. That's the end of the game. Win by two. I played horrible defense, but always gave myself a chance in the end to go ahead and make a play. And that's what Randy Moss does, man. That's what he did right there for me. It definitely was a, a big-time play that I drew up. And, and just utilizing my time, utilizing the timeouts, not going for the touchdown every play. And I'll show you the touchdown right here to Randy Moss. Like I said, I ran Gurley, has 97 speed. He's going to run off all the zones, and Moss is going to get that one-on-one. -on -one. And honestly, I feel like he's even behind Xavier Rhodes right here. Like, I, that's just, I mean, that's a dot for that situation. Definitely a good play. You guys want to run him in. P.A. shot seam, I just streaked Gurley, take those zones in the middle out, wide open one-on-one, -on -one, man. And honestly, like I said, if he didn't do the one hit, if I didn't throw it high, I feel like i just get a toe tap, bang. But you throw it high, and honestly, that should be caught. I, as far as I'm concerned, that should be caught nine times out of ten with the separation, time on the clock, and the defense that was played. But I said this was a whole game commentary, man. I hope you guys learned a little bit or a lot. If you want to check out some of these games live, make sure you go uh, twitch.tv slash dub dot. If you want to learn any of the offense and really all the things that I do, how I get girly at tight end, uh, what plays I'm running against different coverage, you can check out the ebook at manturf.com. Skimbo, the uh, Madden Challenge or Madden Classic champion, also has an ebook out if you guys want to run the gun bunch, learn how he plays offense. But I said, man, if you want some t shirts, you want a hoodie, man, it's hoodie season, and your girl will steal a hoodie, check out the website, man, neededgamingscore.com. The link is below. Grab you a hoodie, man. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video. Hit the like button, comment on how much and what you learned from this video, man.